हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल आई एम ए कुंदन कुमार योर इंस्ट्रक्टर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हाउ टू यूज द एम ब्लॉक टू क्रिएट ए सिंपल एनिमेशन ऑफ द पांडास यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन देयर इज वन दो यू नो एक वन कैरेक्टर लुक लाइक ए पांडा सो Let's go. Once you launch your M block on your device, like a smartphone, iPad, and tablet, this is landing screen. So when you can see on the left hand side, there is three button. The top left corner, you can see when you click on the top left corner icon, it will be taken on this screen. They are asking you to register yourself using your emails, but I'm not going to register now on this. Then next button you have a learn. left hand side learn means you have a different kind of things here when you click on the learn you can see there is a called the kodi robotic white color this symbols is a robot so if you want to learn this uh, robotic coding you can use this one you can learn something you know about the robotic some examples are given but if you don't have this robot at your home and you want to learn you can you can click on the buy coding it will be taken on the amazon.com where you can make an order and they can deliver to you it, but it depends on the country to country you know if you country does not support the logistic of amazon they may not deliver to you you have to find another way to get it to your home fine so okay once you have it you can start learning yourself you know the robotic coding like we can see these are lock something open lots of you know the 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 videos are available on the mblocks forum community to learn the robotic fine so let's go back using the uh, top right corner the move move back we are in this video i'm uh, i'm focusing on the coding not robotic only coding for the block based i will tell you what is the block based when we get into the system So let us go. Click on the coding. Click on this plus symbols on the screen. You are here. As soon as you know, load it's lots of devices you can see on the screen. These are the devices. These devices are robotic based. I as I was saying you what is the robotic you know. But we are not going to learn this robotic coding in this video. In the future videos, coming videos, I may bring the robotic videos. Okay, so. you can see left hand side lots of things are there these are a different characters you know objects and character sprite can be a part of your animations so we'll talk about the what is the stripes uh, sprites later so let's go back let's go not back sorry let's go inside the you know the coding area where we can use the code block so click on you know tick mark on the top right corner you can see a, re a white color on the top right corner you can see the uh, white color tick mark click on that you are here so this is actual a uh, working space for the students who want to learn the m block using the block code as i told you in this video we are not using the uh, robotic animations or robotic coding here i am using the uh, code block to make the pandas animations fine so let me take you through the component of this you know uh, this board and this dashboard you can see the left hand side the there is different kind of you know colors and written motions look sound events control sensing operators variables my block what are these these are actually the types of blocks So let me show you what is the block. So let me click on the motion on the left hand side motion. When I click on the motion, you can see a different kind of blocks you can see on the screen. Be different kind of blocks you can see on the screen. So this is a blocks. This is a blocks. So this blocks has been categorized in different you know different types. You can see motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variable, my blocks. and extends eh, extensions on the bottom left corner so let us let us talk about all those things in the motion send all so these are the blocks how to use this block so you can choose the you know the type of block you want to include in your uh, coding so click on that type of the blocks and then drag and drop like this in the you can see in the white area on the area fine so we'll take we'll talk more about this 
fine let us go and see on the top you know on the top left corner you can see there's a cross to close the project next to that you can see untitled that is a you know the name of the project so as soon as we create a new project it's untitled so not no name is not yet given so to give the name of the project you can click over that so i'm clicking over that so i'm using the ipad of so you can see my tv on your screen it looks different so i'm using the ipad guys so pandas animations panda is by default character of this animation so that's i'm writing panda animation panda is a sprite character of this animation so click ok click ok so you can see the name is given panda you know panda animation let us go and see this side you can see next to that we have a save icon you can click on that to save the successfully you know save the project as you keep coding keep coding better practice so keep saving so you will not lose your you know the work next to that you can see the white background honestly this is a bag background these are a backgrounds you can modify the background i can tell you later now next to that you can see the panda this is a by default character whenever you create a m block project this panda will be included and if you don't want a, you know, when you create a new project, you don't want the panda as a character of animation, you can delete it. How to delete it? You can double click on this and you can see in this one. Yeah, the, you can see there is a, you know, uh, the cross on the, select the panda. There is a, you know, cross, uh, the blue background. You can click on that to delete it. So in this video, I'm not going to delete or this is not the one uh, where to delete. You can see in the top right corner in the written delete sprite what is the sprite that character the sprite character character is the object which perform an action you know in your animation so let's see another one you can see the written a sprite a sprite is a panda you can change the name of the sprite you know why because when you you can click on that you can see in the left hand side you can click on the panda where the sprite is written on the left hand side panel then panda character can be changed because you may have more than one panda different color of you know and then you want to change the name of the panda so you can do it you know you can do it so right now i'm not going to change because i don't have any other panda so let it be panda let us go back now we are going to see what is the other component on here you can see the bottom right corner three symbols are there three icons are there the blue square red square and green flag blue square is just to when you click the you know want to see the animation in the full screen you can click on that so you will be taken to the full full screen you can see this is a panda one of the by default character you will find when you create a block project you can delete i showed you how to delete and uh, in the next video, I will show you also how to bring the new one. But okay, this is the first video as a basic to learn how to block. Fine. So next window, uh, next icon is a red color, which is a for the stop the animation. If your animation starts, you can stop it. I will show you how to stop, how to start. And then green flag is the, you know, one of the events. When I click the green flag, let the system start the animation, you know. So these are a, a property of this button. Let's start coding. So in this coding, we are going to, you know, uh, animate the panda. You will see just left to right, left to right, left to right. So for that purpose, you should know because I told you the green flag is to tell the, you know, system to start the animation. So this is event. So event is the, I'm going to the event, event, you know, block. So I, what I'm saying, uh, if green flag clicked what should happen before going for the blocks you have to make sure which you know character sprites are you know selected here you have a backdrop which is a background backdrop is nothing but a background of the animations you know but you make sure on the top left you know top center you can see on my screen i am going to select the panda i'm just sw uh, switching from here to here for your attention you know so I'm selecting the panda. You can see the panda is selected. So make sure on which correct, which object you are creating a, uh, um, you know, coding. So I'm creating a coding on the panda because panda should move left and right in my, this video. So I'm selecting the panda. Then I click events. Why events? Because on click of the green flag, you can see on the bottom right, 
you know corner when i click the green flag then an animation should start so that's why i'm going to event so i'm click on the events when clicked when clicked i brought it i show you how to bring it when you click this block i bring it here you don't want to bring uh, you want to delete it just hold it drag and drop in this area you can see deleted okay so let's take it back here when i click green flag watch to die pen panda should make a movement means you are trying to add motion motion in the panda so let us go to the motion you know block which is the top left hand side you know panel motion add it move 10 steps you want to change the step click on the 10 there you can see the 10 written you can click 20 as you please but here in this video i will keep the 10 only let it be 10 okay so how did i click i click on this 10 written then i can change but i'm not going to change just i'm showing how to change but i'm going to say 10 so once when i click green flag this panda should move 10 step how do how does this computer know the panda should move not the background because you can see i have selected the panda i'm writing the these blocks in, uh, on the pandas a sprite character that's why panda is the one going to move 10 steps to see this changes let's see what happens so go to the click on the full screen bottom you know uh, right corner next before the green uh, red uh, red circle full screen and click on this green flag at a time so on each click green flag panda is moving 10 steps you know 10 steps so i'm keep clicking keep clicking keep clicking see what happens observe it so panda is touching now edges you know this is a left edge sorry right edge not left edge is coming from the left edge towards right edge so after touching the you know the right edges the panda is not coming back it's all about the coding so because i have not instructed to the system to once it touch the edge it should come back so for doing uh, to uh, to to apply that uh, you know that uh, uh, instruction i have to go back in the claw uh, you know block so i'm going to the motion why motion because it should come back after touching the left edge. so i'm telling you to go and scroll down and look at for the if on edge if on see this is if on edge this one so drag and drop it here and connect it you know how i'm connecting you can see there is a lock system there is a notch i have to keep in the such a way that it locks with that one so it locked this is a notch you, know, you can see this is a notch to combine the blocks fine so on if on edge means if panda is on edge bonds means come back so let me go to the full screen and see what happens so i'm going to click green flag to you know to happen something so i can click you can see panda is coming back so now i'm again clicking and panda is going back towards the left hand side so i'm keep clicking the green flag because i have written when green flag click then should some happen something should happen so i'm keep clicking keep clicking keep clicking keep clicking keep clicking so but you observe it you know what happened when panda is coming from the left it's on the right positions orientation but you will observe when it's come back from the right edge just observe it so i'm taking here like this blah blah okay so now the panda has turned ups and down to how to fix this one how to fix this one if you don't like this the if you don't want you know the panda should turn ups and down so what to do so let's go as exit from screen and the full screen and then go for the motion go for the motion and look for the rotation set rotation style and put it like this left to right left to right let's check it again go to the full screen and click you can see now pandas have turned up in the right position and moving okay so now you can see i have to keep clicking on the green flag to animate it but animation means it should automatically keep rotating it depends what kind of animations do you want to uh, create so here i let, let us tell the system let this panda keep moving left and right until i close this animation using the uh, red you know red button so exit from the full screen 
go for the control because you are going to control the animations so that's why we are going for the control block left hand side then i'm loitering uh, we have a wait for second we have a repeat for 10 times only forever let the i am going for the forever you can see different kind of effects is there no you will you will be learning slowly in the coming videos so forever now question is that we have to put it so i'll put it here and i'll put all make sure this all the blue block should be inside the forever because on click of the green flag let the panda move and if the panda touches the you know the edges it should bounce back and let the panda rotate left to right in the right position forever that's why these blue blocks are inside the forever not outside because forever means forever until this animation is closed so let me go to the full screen and click on the green flag and see what happens the panda is keep rotating keep rotating until i click this uh, red one so when i click red red means stop the animation again again click green one then it's moving moving again go to the click on the red one to stop the animation so stop the animation again click on this animation green click on that because that is even written so that is all about guys in this video and uh, if you have liked this video and you have not yet subscribed my channel please kindly subscribe my channel and don't forget to you know press the bell icon so it will you know when you once click a bell icon when i upload the new videos you will be getting notifications and if you like this video please don't forget to give the like